good evening, this is Hound Dog Steve coming to you on the 9th of January and things are moving so quickly in France right now. So uh, welcome back to all of my subscribers and to any new subscribers joining me this evening. Welcome to the show. And as I said uh, last night, this is going to be a year's worth of reporting. Anyway, we have some incredible breaking news going on right now. And uh, I think that this is in response to the fact that there's been a crackdown, uh, protests are being declared illegal unless you get permission from the government uh, to protest against the government. You know, you, you know how that's going to work out. And so somebody has come up with a complete shift in tactics. And so what has happened is there is a Rothschild Bank has been surrounded by 3,000 protesters and planned for this weekend is a mass withdrawal of euros. Uh, uh, they're contacting everybody in the Yellow Vest movement to go to their bank and withdraw all of their money or as much as they possibly can to form a run on the bank. Now this is an incredible tactic uh, because the banking system is the heart of all of the problems and of course you'll remember that uh, Emmanuel Macron is a Rothschild banker. Uh, he was their uh, star boy. He uh, rocketed up actually way faster than anybody could have actually rocketed through you know to the lofty uh, towers of the banking industry and um, you know I don't know whether this was favoritism or what happened anyways he, he, he's a favored boy of the Rothschild and so to attack the banking system passively you see this is the this is the important thing about this move is that it is a peaceful non-violent non-aggressive move to demonstrate your feelings and I have a funny feeling that this is going to work really well and it's going to spread throughout Europe and different countries in the world as people learn to use this tactic because that's one thing they, they want us to consume they need to uh, give us access to money and uh, so yes withdraw your money from the banks shut down the central banking system because believe you me this is the cause of all our ills okay so let's take a look at these couple of clips here and um, it will highlight some of the exciting news I've been sharing with you okay let's go so here we go yellow vest plan protest outside Rothschild Bank in France yellow vest protesters are planning another demonstration this time outside the Rothschild Bank of Lyon France a Facebook event reveals that over 3,000 French Yellow Vest protesters have expressed interest in attending a protest at the Rothschild Bank of Lyon, France, due in part to a 40-year-old grievance with France's private banking system. The event description explains that the French state borrows from private banks, digs debt, allowing the private banks to make money from interest loans made to the French government. In 1973, after intense lobbying from the Rothschild Bank of France, French President Georges Pompidou signed legislation preventing the government from taking 0% interest loans from the Bank of France, the country's central bank. Instead, the Bank of France is required to loan money to private banks, such as the Rothschild Bank of France, which can then lend money to the French government with interest and you know that is exactly the same thing that is taking place in Canada. In 1973 France did not have a debt problem and the national budget was balanced. Indeed the state could borrow directly from the Bank of France to finance the building of schools, road infrastructure, ports, airlines, hospitals and cultural centers, something that it was possible to do without being required to pay exorbitant interest rates. Thus the government rarely found itself in debt. Nonetheless, on January 3, 1973, the government of President George Pompidou, Pompidou was himself a former general director of the Rothschild Bank, whoops, pretend to look surprised, influenced by the financial sector, adopted law number 73 backslash 7, focusing on the Bank of France. It was nicknamed the Rothschild Law because of the intense lobbying by the banking sector, which favoured its adoption. Formulated by Oliver Wormser, Governor of the Bank of France, and Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, then Minister of the Economy and Finance, it stipulates in Article 25 that the state can no longer demand discounted loans from the Bank of France. And this is exactly the story of Canada. In fact, we still have the only publicly owned central bank in the world. The 
finance minister can walk into that bank tomorrow and say, thank you, gentlemen, ladies, uh, clean out your desks. We've had it. We're taking over the bank and we can lend ourselves money at 0% interest to fix our infrastructure. It's hard to believe that these idiots don't get that. And of course, it's because all of these people, all of these people who are pushing this idea are part of the Rothschild system. Many of the Yellow S protesters point to this legislation as the cause of France's swelling public debt. Since 1980, France's public debt expanded from a historic low of 56.17% of France's gross domestic product to 97% in 2017. Very good initiative, one poster wrote on Facebook. Finally, we protest the real debt managers and not their puppets. And that's the point to remember. The best protesters to withdraw all their euros in massive run on French banks. Furious yellow vests are preparing to withdraw all of their euros in a massive run on French banks as the violent protests spill over to Britain. Uh, and this is January the 10th. OK, and I'm reporting this on the 9th, so this is the time difference. Oh, this is Australia. So they're ahead of us. Uh, yellow vest activists are urging French citizens to empty their bank accounts and spark a massive run on the country's banks in their long-standing fight with the government, which could lead to the collapse of its banking system. The call for citizens to withdraw their euros come as a copycat protests are planned for Britain on the weekend. The left-wing People's Assembly activist group has invited thousands of people to wear yellow vests in an anti-austerity Britain is broken march in central London this weekend. See you on the streets and don't forget your yellow vest, the group which is demanding a general election to end the ruling Conservatives' program of austerity, wrote on Facebook. Meanwhile, right-wing Brexit supporting activists have signalled their intent to hold demonstrations in British cities, including the capital under the banner of Yellow Vest UK. This comes ahead of the ninth straight weekend of protests across France, with Yellow Vest now issuing calls on social media for massive cash withdrawals from banks. Protesters hope the move will force the government to listen to their demands, notably their call for more direct democracy to through the implementation of popular votes that allow citizens to propose new laws. Activist Maxime Nicole called it tax collectors reform. And that is exactly what we need. In a video message, Nicole said, we are all going to get our bread back. You're making money with our dough and we're fed up. What could a bank run mean? If a bank run succeeds, the yellow verse could cause a complete failure of France's banking system. Unlike Australia, France operates on a fractional reserve system, meaning the banking system holds a fraction of money that is deposited by customers. The rest is used to make loans, creating new money. The country's banks are believed to have about a quarter of the cash needed to weather a bank run. If reports are true in saying that 70% of the population plans to withdraw all the euros, it means more than 46 million people will be directly revolting against the system. This could lead to a systematic banking crisis in the country where almost all the banking capital is wiped out. France has the seventh largest economy in the world and the second largest in Europe, valued at 2.5 trillion US dollars, according to World Bank data. It relies heavily on tourism and agriculture to sustain this and boasts being the most visited country in the world. If a bank run leads to widespread financial crisis, it can result in a long economic recession for business and consumers who don't have enough money. During the Great Depression in the 1930s, much of the economic damage was caused by bank runs. A bank run like this one being promoted in France now could potentially paralyze the country's economy and lead to a collapse in the euro. Well, all I can say about this is that you either do it now and you go through this hardship. But if you allow the central banking system to continue controlling the world, we're all going to Greece. And when you're in Greece's situation, you are in no situation to do what the French are doing right now. So do it now. Get it over with. Let's collapse the Bank of International Settlements and the central banking system that have crippled all of our countries. You can see what they've done. You can see the debt they've created. You can see the damage that they've done. Okay, so I think you can see uh, from that that this is a very, very ingenious and serious shift in tactics. So when I look across all of the problems that I see out in the world today, 
and all of the different situations and what have you, it all seems to come back to banking. Uh, banking is such a huge driver uh, because uh, it creates debt, it creates inflation, and so people are always behind the eight ball. Uh, the banks reap huge profits of the public through interest on money, on loans and service charges and so on and so forth. And of course we have all seen the absolutely obscene profits made by the banking system, the way the banking system was bailed out in the 07-08 meltdown. Uh, the, it was instantaneous, the money, the public money that flowed into the banking system. Uh, absolutely incredible and unconscionable. Uh, it has caused just about every problem, as I said, that I can think of on this planet. And, of course, it really gets in the way of you getting together and uh, actually trying to have a protest. You know, I mean, if you want to have a serious protest, you have to do what the French are doing. You actually have to take time off work or somehow organise it so there are shifts of people. So there are always people out there on the protest line. And uh, that is very difficult to do when you have a mortgage to pay or you have uh, loans to meet or so on and so forth, car payments and that kind of thing. You know, uh, you can't afford to take time off work. It's as simple as that. And so you're in a kind of um, gilded prison. And that is what the elites have turned our world into for us. There is virtually no middle class anymore. Uh, whatever is left of the middle class is uh, hanging on by the skin of its teeth. And uh, there are really only two classes now, the elites and the working class and the working poor. And so, as I said, this, this is going to be a popular uprising and it is going to continue. And I am waiting with absolute bated breath to see what happens this weekend, to see if this tactic with pulling out their money from the banks is going to work. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe below. Uh, click that big red button. Uh, it really does help when you do that. So in the meantime, this is Hound Dog Steve signing off. Please have a great evening and we will talk to you very soon as this breaking news unfolds. Okay, you take care now. See ya. Bye.